Outpouring of sorrow and support for Livy Kletsky's family tonight as they sit Shiva. CBS 2's Tony Aiello is live outside the Kletsky home in Borough Park. Tony? Dana, nine hours a day for seven days straight, the Kletsky family will be receiving visitors, loved ones and well-wishers sharing their grief and offering their support. The mourning period, known as Shiva, is underway. Among the Shiva visitors, Israel Hager, the grand rabbi of the Vizhnitz Hasidim. He spent 30 minutes with the Kletsky family in their sixth floor apartment on the first day of this week-long mourning period. It is not permissible for us to go to work when we're sitting Shiva. It is not permissible for us to interact with people in, outside. We live uh, it's, in a certain way, it's a time for us to reassess and to rest. This family friend says the dead boy's father, Nachman, and his wife, Esther, will likely not leave the apartment until the Shiva period ends next week. There is word the family has been spared some of the more gruesome details of what happened to their son. And there now is a sign on the front of their apartment building asking Shiva visitors to be mindful of that. It reads, be sensitive to the family, do not share rumors. And there are many focusing on suspect Levy Aaron, jeered today as he left the 67th Precinct Station House. The anger coming on the heels of grief shared by thousands at Libby's funeral. The boy's father addressed the massive crowd last night, giving thanks for the brief time Libby was in their lives. Wonderful, gentle angel. Nothing else I could say. He's a fully developed, normal, perfect child with perfect parents. Mr. Schwartz says the family is holding up about as you would expect. Dignified in their grief, grateful for the turnout at the funeral, and comforted by the messages of condolence that are coming in from across the city, from across the United States, and even from overseas. Live tonight in Borough Park, Brooklyn, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you. And stay with CBS 2 and CBSNewYork.com for new developments in the nightmare in Brooklyn. We'll have more tonight on CBS 2 News at 11.